What do you want to watch? I mean, not watch. Yeah, I know you can't see. I apologize. What do you want me to watch for you? What What do you want described to you? Yeah, well, I chose last time. Yes, I just said I chose last time. And the time before that. Okay, I get it. The crystal ball is right here, so you can choose. Keep complaining about how I always choose who we spy on or take advantage of my generosity and choose who we spy on. I thought so. All right, Crystal Ball, show me what you got. We have a princess in a bed. She's just sleeping. We have, we have a knight fighting a bunch of goblins. Ooh, very violent, not for me. We have a fish in a hot tub. Okay. We have a majestic winged horse. Uh, what, uh, the fish? Yeah. I'd also like to know why there's a fish in a hot tub. So there's a fish in a hot tub, right? A live fish, to be clear. The hot tub is in a featureless wood-paneled sauna room. One door, heated towels, drink service, you know, the works. And this fish is positively lounging. I'm talking about luxury. Fish luxury. Fluxury. The fish is holding an orange fizzy drink in a huge champagne flute. That glass is like the size of a golf trophy in this thing's fin. Ah! May the gods bless you, Virgin Mimosa. You are truly the best the world has to offer. And you are exactly what a fish needs after a long day of running away from home. Now let me drink you! The fish clutches the comically large glass with both fins and gently tips it toward her mouth to- Ah, snap! She drops the glass in the hot tub water. Mimosa? Mimosa? Where are you? She frantically searches around the hot tub for the fallen drink, and she pulls the glass out from the tub, scooping up some bath water along the way. Oh, Mimosa, what has become of you? She examines the glass. Please don't drink that. I guess she's a fish, though. Is that gross for a fish? I probably shouldn't, right? Probably not. Probably not. Audible sigh. She drops the glass in the tub and st- and stands? Revealing her long lady legs, apparently. This is a fish with legs. Mm -hmm. She gets out of the hot tub with her legs, puts on a towel, and <laughs> walks to the door on her legs and pokes her head out into a deserted hallway. Hey! Hello? I spill my virgin mimosa. Can I get another? Hello? Ugh. Terrible service on this blimp. Are we on a blimp? Let me zoom out. Yep. This is a blimp. Hot tub with a fish with legs on a blimp. You cool with that? Cool. Let's continue. The fish with legs is still in the sauna room, putting on some shoes. The heels add significantly to her height. Yeah, I'd still say she's only about a meter tall. And she has tiny fishnet stockings, too. She's adorable. She stops and checks herself in a foggy mirror. <sighs> Looking good, fish with legs. Is her name fish with legs, or is she just saying that she is a fish with legs? Anyways, she heads out into the hallway. Hey, excuse me. Hello? Fish with legs without a mimosa over here. I said mimosa, virgin mimosa. Can I please have one? I spilled mine. A mysterious figure in a full-length trench coat exits a room further down the hall. Finally. Hey there, Creepy trench coat, butler. You're the butler, right? The figure gives the impression of staring at her ominously from under their all-concealing trench coat and tilted fedora combo. Yeah, popped collar, the whole shebang. I spilled my mimosa, and I was wondering... Uh... 
The figure slowly walks toward her and stops just in front of her face, towering over the tiny fish with legs. Wondering if I could replace my mimosa. The figure extends a gloved hand, places it on top of Fish's head, and spins her around. Are they this way? The figure pushes her down the hall, back to the door to her hot tub room. No, I, I was just in there! The figure shoves her in and closes the door. <laughs> Fish with legs, I have a hunch that that was suspicious. Yeah, I think her name is Fish with legs. She cracks the door open and pokes her head out into the hallway again to peek. The figure walks back down the hallway and enters the door they came from. Fish with legs slips out of the door and quietly makes her way to where the figure disappeared. She presses her ear. Do fish have ears? Anyway, the side of her head is against the closed door. Murmur, murmur, they say murmur a lot. Wait, (gasps) audible gasp. Did they say scheme? (gasps) I think there's scheming going on behind this closed door. The plot thickens. The fish turns the handle slowly and eases the door open slightly. She sidles in sideways, sneaky-like. Sneaky? Inside, the mysterious figure sits at a table along with a big two-headed snake and a majestically rugged and virile giraffe. There's a big map pinned up on the wall and a bunch of nerd junk piled up along the edges of the room. None of them notice the door or the fish, who eavesdropping? not so silently settles down to eavesdrop. Snakehead number one speaks. Next, we fly to the plains of Breeze Ill. This will not be nearly as easy as catching the fish. The elemental creature of air is heavily guarded. But I have a plan. Muscular giraffe. Have you looked over my notes? The muscular giraffe nods. Excellent. Find a way to destroy the barrier, and we will gather any ingredients you need. Muscular giraffe nods again. In the meantime, my brother and I will investigate the elemental creature of Earth. Much still eludes. Oh, we're still so far. That was snake number two's voice. Don't lose heart, brother. We can still- It feels like we'll never find Mama Morbus! Wait, did half of that snake just say Mama Morbus? Mama Morbus? Huh, isn't that- What's uh, that? The fish! Uh, uh They all turn and notice her. She's not hidden, due to either disinterest or lack of aptitude. Oh! Hey y'all! What's up? Scheming? What? What? No, just, uh, uh- Uh, Plotting! Conversing! Let me deal with this. No, I can handle this, okay? Can you? Yes. So, <clears throat> like, how much did you hear? Um, I was just looking for a mimosa. <sighs> Seize her. The figure in the trench stands and drifts toward the fish without touching the ground. Uh-oh. Fish with legs spins and books it out of the room. The floating figure in the trench coat blasts off the ground and zips after her, chasing her down. I told you a hot tub was not a suitable cell. I just thought it would be nice. A happy prisoner is a compliant prisoner. Fish with legs flees down the empty hallway of closed doors. The trench coat is flying fast, almost horizontal on her tail. They round a corner and the fish skids to a stop in an observation deck in the belly of the blimp. A dead end. Huge windows line the room. The trench coat fills the doorway, blocking off the only entrance. Fish with legs backs up against the wall as the trench coat floats relentlessly forward. Hey, ominous trench coat person. Love the look. Great choices, fashion-wise. We have that in common. She gestures to her stockings and shoes. Fish, net, stockings, get it? The trench stops. Because I'm a fish? So yeah, uh... One fashion lover to another, let's cut a deal here, huh? The trench undoes their buttons and the coat hits the floor, revealing a bunch of bees. Oh, a bunch of bees in a trench coat. (laughs) That's, that's cool. The bees encroach upon her. (coughs) The fish desperately glances around at all the massive windows that dominate the observation deck. The blimp is above a large body of featureless water. She focuses on a small emergency exit porthole. The bees clump into a swarm and move threateningly closer to try and cut her off. Yeah, no thanks! A 
jet of water sprays out from her mouth, cutting a path through the wall of bees. The fish with legs springs to the emergency door, opens it, and leaps out into the open air. The swarm of bees buzz after her. As she plummets, the fish with legs glances up at the bees diving after her. She streamlines herself and picks up speed. The bees spread themselves into a thick cloud, closing in on fish. She struggles as they buzz around her in free fall. No! No me! But before they can get a grip on her, she pierces the surface of the water and dives deep below. The bees all pull up to avoid the splash. Safely under the surface, the fish watches them swarm helplessly above. She swims away, both wiggling her tail and kicking with her legs. She swims intently. For a while, there's water. She swims some more. There is further swimming. I'm gonna fast forward through this if that's cool with you. And land! Finally. The water has narrowed into a river that winds through some wild brush before streaming through and bisecting. Yeah, dividing into a small human settlement. The town is built around a river. A series of bridges links the two halves. A monolithic factory dominates the landscape. Monolithic, uh, large and uniform. Oh, thank me! Civilization! Ah, uh, barely. She emerges from the river under a quaint little bridge on the edge of town. It's pretty rustic. There's dirt everywhere and painted wooden signs hanging over shop doorways. And thatch. This is one of those vaguely folksy medieval places. Homespun, but like, industrializing. Yes! Humans! Humans love me! Fish with legs climbs out of the river and heads for a bridge where a human parent and child in matching brownish tan robes are beginning to cross. Hey, humans! What's up? I'm fish with legs. I'm a fish with legs. I'm the elemental creature of- Hey, wait! She trails wait. off as the humans, perturbed, elect to ignore her, quickly passing her by and crossing the bridge. Hello! Important fish in need! The humans walk faster. <laughs> the child breaks into a run. Wow. That stings a little, but I persevere. Fish with legs goes the other way across the bridge and wanders further into the town, her shoes clacking on the cobblestones. Hello! Hello! Where is everybody? It's me, fish with legs. Don't you want to admire me? I'm very admirable. The town seems deserted. Oh, you're right, I hear it. There are distant crowd noises. Is that the distant noises of a crowd? Fish with legs hurries down the road, which leads to the town square. Oh, wow, so exciting. It's full of people and life, gathered for a fair with flags and tents and despicable merriment. Humans of all ages going in and out of the tents willy-nilly, and children running everywhere. The square is dominated by three technicolor tents, pitched along one side behind a shiny suit of armor with a truly spectacular hat strung up on a tall stick. Actually, most of the humans are wearing hats. All right, showtime! As Fish with Legs enters the crowd, the people start to noticeably part around her. She seems to think the attention is positive. Hello, everyone. I am Fish with Legs. I'm a fish with legs. Wait, hey, wait, what? The surrounding humans dissipate, trying to ignore her. What is happening today? A single human teenage female walks up to her. Kind of a swaggery thing, but not very impressive looking. She has a big leather work apron over a ratty gray tunic and a small matching cap that attempts to hide her greasy hair. She stands imposingly in front of Fish with Legs, who stares up at her, being only about half the human's height. Excuse me, mystical creature. What are you doing here? Hey, what's up? Thanks for, like, acknowledging me. I think that's a minimum. Are you lost? I can bring you back to the forest if you need. No, I'm not lost. Well, okay. I mean, yeah, I am, but... Okay, I I am fish with legs. I'm a fish with legs. I am the elemental creature of water, and I'm very far from home, so, um, help? Yes? And what exactly do you need help with? Well, I just got chased by these bees that work for these two snakes that have one body that's trying to destroy the world, so I guess I gotta deal with that or something? What? To which bit? All of that? I need some servants and some transportation. Could you... Okay, like... listen, fish. We're trying to have a nice recruitment fair. The Herovian Guard is in Cape Cap today, and they're enlisting some young soldiers. They have games for the kids. Everyone is having a good time. But your weird fishness is really making everyone uncomfortable. So I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Whoa, and... whoa, 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 whoa. What? What is this? Bizarro upside down land? 
No, this is Cape Cap. Do you know who I am? A fish with legs? No, I am fish with legs. Capital F, capital L? Okay, well, I am October Jones, member of the Herovian Guard, and I would like you out of my recruitment fair. October? Yeah. That's that's kind of a ridiculous name. It says fish with legs. Anyways, I, I'm one of the four elemental creatures with unimaginable power hidden throughout the world, and I was just captured by two snake heads, one body, a muscular giraffe, a swarm of bees, and a trench coat who I heroically ran away from, so I could warn, you know, Someone. That they wanted to release Mama Morbus. Mama Morbus? Yeah. Terrible monster. Eats world. Ring a bell? Yes. It does. We know Mama Morbus. Yeah, we watched those heroes. Yeah, they all got eaten. You don't need to explain Mama Morbus to me. I its know more- Its greatest hits include destruction, domination, massacre. Pretty well known. Yeah, I know. No one else in this dumb town cares, but I know. I've spent years trying to convince people here that Mama Morbus is real. Uh- it's very real, and a very real problem. Do you guys not learn about it? Back home, with the glub glub. All I learned about was Mama Morbus and the four elemental creatures. Glub glub? Glub glub. Glub club. Glub glub. Okay, I have no idea what you're saying, but you're an elemental creature? You helped banish Mama Morbus? Yes! And those snakes want to use me to get it back. Let's go. Ah! Thank you, finally! You can be my new servant, and maybe best friend? I'm feeling a connection here, right? You need to find us some, okay, transportation. We're going to the plains of Brazil. Oh, also, do you know how to make a virgin mimosa? Um, no. I'm not your servant. But I will bring you to someone who can help us out. Okay, but what about the best friend thing? Do you like pedicures? Just come with me. I got no fingies, but I got toesies. October starts cutting through the crowd, dragging fish with legs behind. And this is about when your attention span usually depletes itself. Yeah, I thought so. I like this fish too. Yeah, I'd love to come back. Uh, but for now, let's stop. Hi, I'm Fish with Legs. I'm a fish with legs. I'm the elemental creature water, and I would like to thank you for listening to October Jones and Fish with Legs, the podcast starring me. It was created by Dexter Laffrey Callender, Elizabeth Nadim, and Zoe Rougeau, who all seem like lovely people, just like my new best friend, October Jones. And with music by Alexander Cruz, who also seems lovely, and featuring the voices of Takeshi Fukushima, Dexter Lavery Callender, Zoe Rougeau, Aaron Dunlop, Elizabeth Nyveen, all lovely, lovely, lovely people. And if you lovely people would like to keep up to date with me and my podcast that stars me, follow us at October and Fish on Facebook, Instagram, and whatever podcast places you find your lovely podcast. Oh, yeah. You can also email. We have an email. Yes, we have an email that is, uh, um, oh, here, octoberandfish at gmail.com. Use that to send emails to us if you want.